Rodgers is, yeah, it's a screen. Up the middle, middle screen to Adams. Ooh, he got oh popped in the face. Oh my mouth goodness. guard comes out, and they're asking for help right away. Jim, oh no. And a flag. That looked bad. Rodgers is in the mix. Rodgers right there is getting in the mix with these guys. Back it comes to the 45-yard line. Burrow, such great feel in so many aspects. Runs out of bounds and then gets belted on a late hit by Lakia Henry, who will be flagged for that one. Yeah, Joe Burrow gave himself up. I mean, he, he clearly ran to the sideline, ran out of bounds. We're down at five, looking for Cohen initially. And that's Trubisky running. And uh, flag is down. And a late hit. Boy, what a nasty hit that was on the quarterback who had already given himself up. And Richard Sherman is in there throwing fist. Cassius Marsh coming in to break it up. So you got a couple of penalties going on here. You have the one in the backfield. In this game, he's on the move. He's going to run it. And belted out of bounds oh, at about the 24, 25 yard line. Pat White is hurt. He hasn't moved since he took that hit. Oh, he he took a huge hit. Ike Taylor came roaring up from his cornerback position. They got pressure in. Lanning gets it off cleanly. Brown back pedals all the way to the 28 yard line. Good move upfield. Brown. Split special teamers, and now Brown is off to the races. Hurdles kicks him in, and a flag is thrown. They're going to get Brown for that uh, hurdle right to the face of Lanning. Tremendous return, but a real mistake by Brown at the end of it. Makes the first guy miss here, and he's going to make nine other guys miss here. Just flailing away at number 84, but... I don't know why Brown thought he had to do that. He had the outside. He could have scored easily if he sticks to his left, but instead tries to hurdle landing and puts his foot right in the face mask. A cleat to the face of Spencer Lanning right there. On first and 15, Harris gets out of that trouble and puts himself in some more. Picked off by Dakota Dixon. And flags go flying. And players come together now. Eagles once again with some problems on special saw, saw Boxville late getting out there. Roka. Another beautiful punt. This one drives figures back to the 30. Figures. And he goes down at the 49-yard line, a 65-yard punt, sell it covering. Somebody tried to go out this uh, Roka. Wow. And a flag on the play. Somebody went out the Roka there, man. The first punt was 56 yards. This punt was 65 yards as he gets Ooh. drilled. Oh, oh. And I tell you what, I got a lot of respect for Michael Gasperson because this you don't do this to a kicker. He's not even involved in the play, and that's a cheap shot that was unnecessary. And uh, I tell you what, if I was out there playing, that's exactly what I would have did, man. That's, that's totally unnecessary. You don't take shots on kickers. Interception, Mark Lee. And McMahon with an extra shot and two bare linemen. Oh, did Charles Martin throw McMahon to the turf? He really leveled him after the ball was gone. Here's you can the see play. the ball is gone, and here's McMahon standing there. Here comes Martin. Ball is long gone. 
What is this? Wow, man. That, yeah, that's, that that's is, ridiculous. Uh, I, he should be out of the game. Yeah, I think there's going to be an ejection. Mike Ditka is out Ditka's on the football field. on the field, field with Jerry Markwright. Third down and ten. A screen dropped. Oh, and an incomplete pass intended for Seth Williams, who I think took a little bit of a dive. He did get hit by Errol Thompson. Well, he got hit pretty good. Now, Thompson's a 250-pound linebacker. Yeah, I guess he did. And, I take it back. You know, that, that could have really been costly for Mississippi State. They get the stop on third and long. <laughs> the clock is stopped. And that could have very easily been yes. called a penalty. Yes, it could have. He did not embellish it. He got no. smacked. After review, number 40 of the defense, personal foul, targeted. Big ball foul being forced 15 yards from the previous spot. Automatic first down. We have that great defenses, but uh, I mean, teams going to a game with four, five, six different cadences. Which we didn't have that. That's that's one for Joiner where you wonder why. There was no doubt about it that Bridgewater was going to slide, and Mike Zimmer is hot, and you can't blame him. He is really hot, and you know what? You can't blame him. This is a dirty play. 15 yards from the end of the run. Automatic down. You see him starting his slide. You don't see Joyner totally pulling off. It's almost like at the end, he's trying to turn at the end, but it's too late. He's already launched. And when you see a quarterback going into the slide, everyone knows that's the universal pull off. And LaMarcus Joyner did not. Newton in trouble on the run. And it's caught. Steve Smith will score. And a fight is going on in the end zone. And Cam Newton has run all the way in there with the entire offense and defensive teams. Flags have been down. Punt it away. It's a good high kick. Fair catch called for. And a huge hit. Multiple flags come in. And Wade's popping up and down like he did something impressive. And what he did there was hammer a defenseless punt returner. And Wade needs to leave the field. I think that was a unacceptable play by Wade to jump up and down like he did something impressive. And the returner never even had a well, chance to catch it. Turn back. He was blitzing. Hayton cut inside him. Hayton with the running room out the right side and now forced out by Lee. Picked up about five and Lee drove Hayton all the way over to the Bears bench. And there's a pile up there with flags flying. Mark Lee, number 22, taking Peyton all the way to the Bears bench. That is uh, tough territory oh, yes. to be intruding on at this point with tempers already frayed before this game even began. Second in the yard, they're going to throw it. And it's intercepted by Levy. And he's on his way to the end zone. After the interception, during the return, personal foul, illegal low block, number 90. 15 yard penalty, first and 10. So that is a second touchdown that has been taken away in this game. For the Lions. This is a quarterback's worst nightmare. Getting the ball out very quickly. Just a straight in route. It bounces off the receiver's hands right into the hands of the linebacker. DeAndre and that, Levy. And that was the kind of play that the NFL changed the rule this year. Right there, the block on the center. John Sullivan by Indomitian Sue. Press way, punts it. Good kick. Scrolls up. Oh, he gets blasted. The ball is loose, and there's a flag. To Shazer Everett, and now there's a scrum breaking loose. And it's ugly. That was a high, hard shot on Scrolls. And the Eagles standing up for their teammate. Raymond talking to the coaches upstairs. 
this time. Stanton couldn't find anybody, so he'll take off himself. And he is out of bounds with a good gain, and now they'll tack on a personal foul on Nduque, the safety. A late hit, they're going to rule, on number 18, the safety who, come over, who came over on the play. Rodgers finds one of them. That's Jamal Williams, and he's wrapped up immediately as Bradham is out there, and a flag is down. And a player is down for Green Bay. Roethlisberger from the pocket, middle of the field, incomplete. Personal, oh, a flag does come in. Went to the head. Lewis Harris is going to be flagged for this on the hit on Antonio Brown, and it's going to put the Steelers in field goal range. Perfect was in there, too. Perfect, it's coming across the field. I saw it. I thought it was him. Yeah, and that I know went. that they both were in on the coverage. Is it 55 or 37? Personal foul, defense number 55. 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. Perfect in the end. Here's a third and seven. Bill's trying to bring five. Brady then slides and throws. And... Will there be a flag? His ball is intercepted. No flags. Oh, there's a late one, but this is not going to be for the interception. It's going to be. There's a couple of flags, different sides of the field. Oh, there definitely was. White's definitely holding Gronk. That wasn't called. And then he's holding them again, and then gets away with it. They don't call it. He intercepts the pass. It's a little banged up. He's down. Someone comes by and hits Gronk from behind. And then Gronk, this is going to get flagged. Oh, Gronk's up. getting the toughness back, getting that physicality back in the offense. And that's going to be a late hit. An unnecessary penalty against Toledo. Terrence Taylor with the late hit. That was going to be a quarterback keeper. That penalty has him very close to the goal line. First and 18, and Eric on the rollout. Oh! Eric Hipple. He is bombed by Scott Brantley, and he's hurt. That's always the danger that a professional quarterback faces when he comes on rollout action. Looking from the end zone, Tampa had this play perfectly. You can see that they stayed back, inviting him to run. Hippo had nothing left to do. Watch 52. What contact. That's Scott Brantley, known for his ferocious hitting, and that time he gave a shoulder and a head. Including Escobar. Who's going to come in motion right here at the bottom of your screen. Former Cowboy tight end just signed a couple of days ago. Blacko rolling, rolling, and running, and he's going to have to, oh, not the ball comes out, helmets off, flags are down, it was Kiko Alonso who delivered the blow, this is a, watch this, Joe with a good run, slides, oh. bends his head, helmet comes jarringly off, And it's definitely a penalty as the quarterback gives himself up and he leans that arm in there. That's that's not okay. Well, look, he knows he's going down. And at the end right there, he leans it down. Alonzo, way too aggressive. Quarterback's giving himself up. You need to at least show restraint at the end of that. And I think probably ends the night. Look at those. Harbaugh knows what just happened. Here is second and 15 handoff is to Vereen. Able to stay upright and picks up a first down. And there's Beckham again. What is going on? Have you seen a guy this thrown off his game before? They ought to throw him out of the game, Joe, and they just might. I mean, he's out of control. Well, he's hurting his football team. He has. He hurt him dropping the ball, and now he's hurt him with, you know, multiple penalties already. We'll see what this flag is for. Here's a flag as, whoa, hello, whoa. Uh, Mason Rudolph got Rudolph into it. to get out of there. What in the world? 
believe Miles Garrett. They'll be swinging a helmet. Yeah, there'll be some ejections. And here it is. Well, he tackled Rudolph. Rudolph didn't like the way that he was tackled. Oh, was, gosh. Man. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Rips the helmet off Rudolph's head and then eventually swings it and hits him in the head. And then Ogunjobi comes up and hits Rudolph from behind.